Okay, here we are once again. I am going to be doing the numerology and astrology for February 23rd, 2022. Um, with all the twos that happened yesterday, I started to kind of notice that maybe one of the things I'll do is do the numerology and astrology only as a video. And then if those that want my blog, th that will actually be a separate thing. So my quote on my blog will actually be on a separate video. So just kind of know that's the interesting pattern that I'm trying out here at this particular point. Um, feedback is obviously welcome. Um, in this particular time that we are dealing with, um, really, really, really notice um, those out there that want to tear down any light worker, um, anybody who is trying in our flawed human way to um, bring hope or inspiration or truth or clarity or some of our intuitive tools. And, and there are a lot of uh, amazing people out there that are truly enlightened. I don't pretend to be one of them, but um, that actually are trying to help. And then there's other people that are like me that are actually out there trying to help also. So be kind. I know it's so incredibly difficult because so many people are so angry because this is a very different world than any of us have lived in and they want to take it out on anybody that they can and, and the negativity of social media is really escalating to a, a, a dangerous place and so everybody remember to breathe. You know, it's really simple to me. If you don't like something, just turn it off. Turn off this video if you don't like it. Um, you don't need to be watching. If it if it completely triggers you, just turn it off and let yourself move into another place in another domain and find the places that align with you at that particular moment. So I say all of that because obviously there's been a lot of bizarre things going on out there in the world. And I also know that... Um, we are getting hacked. Um, I hear it from clients all day. Their com computers are being hacked. So I want with all these twos, um, which is negative mind, negative mind, negative mind, negative mind, negative mind from yesterday. And we're going to continue to have more twos. And I know there are people out there that are saying, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And this is so amazing. And da, da, da. Well, I, I break it down into the parts and the parts of all the negativity and the the, the two is the negative mind and the duality and pulling things further into duality, which is the number two rather than into the oneness and the unity. We want to go for oneness and unity. We want to come together and, and not tear, continue to tear things apart because that's how civilizations fall and that's how people give up hope. And there's just a, a lot that's going on out there in the world. And I know it's very stressful and I really care about our world and I care about everyone out there that is trying to help. And so those that are trying to help, I applaud you. Those that are trying to tear other people down, I hope that they can reflect and take a breath and, and just drop in and find their own center and their own love and their own peacefulness. So let's do the numerology and astrology for February 23rd, 2022. That litany came in because if we add all those numbers together, you get the 13. And if you add the one and the three together, you get the number four. Now, the number four is the number of neutral mind. Well, nothing is neutral at the moment. Absolutely nothing is neutral. The number four likes balance. Well, very little is balanced out there in the world. And so that doesn't mean we don't strive for it regardless of what the external world or others are doing. And so by practicing balance, when others say negative things that are intended to cause harm, such souls do not realize that they are only projecting their own issues up on another. It often feels like a coat that does not fit. We live in a world where words are used as a weapon to attack souls that are doing their very best to do good in the world. But when others hold up expectations that they need, and place their expectations on anyone and anything, that is when disappointments arise and then come the games of blame and shame. It is shocking to me how much of this is going on and how viciously the verbal rage is that lashes out at anything that does not fit into someone's picture. In this age of social media, we do a tremendous disservice to those who are actively out there trying to express kindness in a hate-filled world. Karma follows aggressively all things that hold the intention to cause harm. Thoughts, 
eventually come out someone's mouth and those words will then actively cause another to do actions that are the product of those thoughts. That phrase that we have all heard, if you can't say something nice, best not to say it at all, needs to become heard on a new level. Um, life is not a, always a bad, life does not always require a response from us. The number four is a communication number, but one that is based on a contemplative state and thought and a calm disposition and demeanor and compassionate actions. Today, do what, what could you do differently in your response or making the decision to just wait before responding? Maybe that's the response. Often if I wait, I realize that I do not need to jump into conversations. That's because too often another person is not really conversing. Conversations go both ways. Too often a person is just demanding to be heard. And that leaves no room for a balanced conversation, which means that your opinions do not matter to another, nor will they shift the trajectory of the conversation. At that point, the only option is to practice neutrality and compassion in any way that one can. The need to constantly react to all issues is an immature mind still grasping for attention. We cannot help uh, anyone if uh, others manage to throw us off our center. Sometimes one must allow for opinions to linger in the air. This allows those words to be heard by the speaker. When there is silence following chaotic and hurtful world, words, there is the potential for them to hear their own voice, its tone, its frequency, its vibrational intention in the lull of the silence. Then perhaps they will begin to experience and cringe at the horrible energy that has been festering behind their own words. Over and over again, I recognize that the game is awareness, and that means awareness of ourselves and our idiosyncrasies. All of us, myself included, have places upon reflection that we cringe when we were younger and we said things inadvertently or obsessively or from a very attached perspective. Um, but it is unnecessary, cruel, and karmic for others to use words as a weapon against others. Okay, the astrology today. Needless to say, we were having this deep conversation because the moon has been in Scorpio and the moon is going to shift out of Scorpio, thank God, into Sagittarius in the morning. And this brings out our more adventurous side and the part of us that wants to encourage others while we seek to understand. Mars will sextile to Neptune and while the emotional intensity of this world is continuing and moving forward, our intuitive guidance is also leading us away from those things that used to feel important and secure. Those same things now feel like a yoke on our back. It is clear that attachments have tied us to the, de to the density of this world and this level of existence. Take a look. There are many more things that we are being asked to release. After all, security cannot be found in stuff. It is found inside our souls and core values. Let go of anger and look at what is asking to be softened internally. Healing comes from the choice of forgiveness. Compassion comes from owning up to the harm and damage that we have inflicted upon others. When we learn to allow Jupiter and Pluto to somehow work to, together and work out the kinks, then we learn what has been causing so much tension and strain. Then perhaps we can work more into a better flow with life. Beliefs are being challenged right and left. Our attitude seems to angle towards frustration and rigidity. Do not force anyone or anything. Such things will lead only to more struggle and illness. Mercury and Chiron sextile, supporting a healthier dialogue if one is willing to embrace a more holistic approach to this world. Communications are about to get more challenging. Back up your commu computer and use an external hard drive today. Don't click on any sus anything suspicious or call any phone numbers that are emailed to you under odd circumstances. The hackers are loose. Double check everything before you make any attempts to change anything. Okay. Thanks, everyone. My blog will be on another video. Thanks for understanding. Bye.